Shabbat Shalom. It's good to see everybody. I hope everybody online can see and hear us. I hope the sound is good. Uh, we are back in mask land. So <laughs> I know it's a little bit warm in here and the mask doesn't help a whole lot, uh, but we ask that you keep masked um, as the numbers have gone back up in the county. We have been uh, encouraged and strongly uh, concluded that, that we needed to protect people by wearing masks. Uh, and so we will begin as we do each Shabbat in song. Tonight we begin on page 10 as we join together in singing Maya Fe Hayom. Nope, we're gonna, we're gonna start on page zero with open and then go to Maya Fe oh, Hayom. Oh, well fine. It's, yeah. it's like page 10 except earlier. Except earlier. And it's be, open. And it's open. So the <laughs> lyrics are really, really simple. Open my eyes to truth. Open my hands to give freely. Open my lips to good words. To pure words, open my heart to love. Open my eyes to truth, open my hands to give freely, open my lips to good words, to pure words, open my heart to love. Let's do that again. Open my eyes to truth, open my hands to give freely, open my lips to good words to pure words open my heart to love 
Open my eyes to truth. Open my hands to give freely. Open my hands to give freely. Open my lips to good words, to pure words. Open my lips to good words, to pure words. And open my heart to love. And open my heart to love. Open my eyes to truth. Open my hands to give freely. Open my lips to good words, to pure words. Open my heart to love. And now we turn to page 10. Maya Fehayo. Shabbat Shalom, Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Let's do that again. Maya Fehayom, Shahabat Shalom. Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And we turn now to page 13 to one of Susan Blackman's favorites, Ya'alo Sadai, which is towards the bottom of the page. Fourth line up from the bottom. Ya'alo Sadai, Beho Shibo, Ya'alo Sadai. Ay, 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 ya alo sedai, beho shibu, ya alo sedai, ay, 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 as you And now we turn back to pages four and five, actually pages two and three, for the candle lighting. It's my pleasure to welcome Lev Sehud and his family to lead us in the blessings for the candles. We celebrate with Lev and his family as tomorrow he will become a bar mitzvah. Aunt Julie, come on up. Amen. 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 
We turn ahead now to page 20 as we join together for L'cha Dodi. When we reach the final verse, we'll invite everyone to rise in body or spirit to welcome the Sabbath bride. For now, though, we begin at the beginning on page 20. L'cha Dodi, l'ikrat kala, p'nei Shabbat, l'ikabla, l'cha Dodi. Likat kala, pene shabbat, likabala, shamur v'zachor b'ribo echa, ishmiyanu el hanichai, adonai echad yushemo echad, l'shem v'tifehret v'lihila, lecha dodi, likat kala, Pnei Shabbat, Nikabla, Lecha Dodi, Likat Kala, Pnei Shabbat, Nikabla, Likat Shabbat, Lechu Venelecha, Yimiko Habracha, Melosh Mehedem Nesuka. So far I say, but Bakshiva Tehila, the Hadodi, the Kat Kala, the Neshabat, the Kabela, the Hadodi, the Kat Kala, the Neshabat, the Kabela, he tore me, he tore me. Kiva ove chumi uvi 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 shir deberi kuvar adonai elai yikniqa lechadodi ukat kala pnei shabbat lekabela lechadodi ukat kala pnei shabbat. We come around, oh, we wish our own a terrid by Allah. Gambusim Hautzala, Tohemune Asigula, Boi Hala, Boi Hala, the Hadi, we can't call up the Nishaban. Mikabela, Lecha Dodi, Mikrat Kala, Pnei Shabbat, Mikabela. We turn now on page 22 to a psalm for Shabbat. Uh, on Zoom, how is the sound? Is the, is the sound coming through? Let me know on Zoom what you're hearing. Uh, we got one report of sound being muffled, so I want to hear about, see if others are catching that. I'm assuming you hear sound is okay. Sound is very good. good. So we'll work on the, <laughs> the zoom sound. We'll work on zoom sound. We'll zoom a zoom the sound to you better, hopefully soon. Moshir Yom HaShabbat Tov Lehodo Hula Adonai Unizabel Leshimcha El Yom Unizabel Leshimcha El Yom Lehagib Aboke Chastecha Vemunatcha Habalelu So be alehi naver, alehi yom bechi no. Mitzvoshir yom hashabbat tov lechodo hola Adonai ulezamer leshimcha el yom ulezamer leshimcha el yom. Kisimach tani Adonai beho alecha, vema aseya decha avani, 
We continue as we turn to page 26 and join together. Yit gada, yit gada, shemay rabba. Bel ma divra hirute, viam lich malchute. Becha ye chon, uvio me chon, uvcha ye de chobet Yisrael. Ba gala, ba gala, uviz mahan kahariv, vimeru. Yehesh me rabba mevora. Leolam la me amaya, yit barach, yit barach, vishtabach, vit par, vit ramam, vit nase, vit adar, vit ale, vit alal, shemele kudasha, leila min kobir hatave shirata, tushbe hatave nechemata, damiran beama, vimeru. Amen. We invite everyone to rise in body or in spirit as we join together for the Barhu on page 28. Barhu et Adonai Hamevorach. Baruch Adonai Hamevorach. Leolam Vaed. And on page 30, we continue together. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tzavaot is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim. Day and night, show us the way. Teaching us to number our days When we rise and when we lie down Ahava Tolam Ahava Tolam Beit Yisrael Amcha Ahavta Torah Mitzvot Chukim Mishpatim Otanu Lemadeta Kihem Hainu Beorech Yamenu Uvachem Negei Yomom Valayla Day and night Show us the way, teaching us to number our days. When we rise and when we lie down, Ahavat Olam. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Amcha Ahavta, Torah Mitzvot. Chukim u mishpatim otanu We continue together. Shema Yisrael, 
Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto, Leolam Vaed, Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Levavcha, Uvechol Nafshecha, Uvechol Meodecha, Vehayu Hadvarim Haele, Asher Anochi Mitzavacha, Hayom Alivavecha, Vishinan Tam Livanecha, Vidi Barta Bam, Beshiftacha Bevetacha, Uvlechtacha Vaderech, Ushochbacha Uvkumecha, Uksar tam leot al yadecha, vehayu le totafot bein enecha, uch taf tam al mezuzot beitecha, uvi sharecha, leman tizkeru, vasitem et kol mitzvotai, vitem kedoshim lelohechem, Ani Adonai Eloheichem, Asher Hotzeiti Etchem, Meretz Mitzrayim, Lihiot Lachem Lelohim. Ani Adonai Eloheichem, Adonai Eloheichem Emet. One of the joys on Zoom is being able to see people's faces, and for a good while there, Adam Kalur was bopping his head to the beat. What so, if, if we keep watching now, he's applauding because he just heard his name. <laughs> so, Adam, keep bopping along to the beat. You'll keep us all on track tonight. <laughs> we turn ahead in our prayer books uh, to page 39, and in the middle of the page, we join together. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. Mi kamocha ba'eri madonai, mi kamocha neda ba'kodesh. No wa tehilu, o sefele. No wa tehilu, o sefele. Adonai mo peyolam ba'ed. Malchut chara uvanecha, pokea yam nitne moshe uviriam, ze elia nuviamaru, ze elia nuviamaru, Adonai no play along by end. Mi kamocha ba eli madonai, mi kamocha nedaba kodesh. Mi kamocha ba'eri madonai, mi kamocha neda ba'kodesh. No wa tehilu, o sefele. No wa tehilu, o sefele. Adonai mo pe'olam This past week, we watched with horror the events in Buffalo. And for most of us here, those events hit too close to home. There is too much hate in this world. There is too much destruction. And so we renew our prayers this Shabbat 
God, let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch ata Adonai, haporeh sukat shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. And now it's my pleasure to welcome Lev Sehud back to the Bima as we continue together on page 44. Shamru Vene Israel et Hashabat Lasot et Hashabat Lidoratam Beritola Ham Veshamru Vene Israel et Hashabat Lasot et Hashabat Lidoratam Beritola Vene uven Israel, O Tile Olam, O Tile Olam, O Tile Olam, Veshamru, Vene Israel, Et Hashabat, Lasot et Hashabat, Ledoratam Berit Olam. Ki sheshet yamim asadonai, asadonai, et hashamayim vet haaret, veshamru, bene Yisrael, et hashabat, lasot et hashabat, ledorotam berit olam. Uvayom hashvi, Shavat ve'inafash, Shavat ve'inafash, Shavat ve'inafash, Veshamru b'nei Yisrael, Et ha-shabat, La'asot et ha-shabat, Le'dorotam berit olam. If you'd like to hear more of Led of Leading, come back tomorrow morning. Services are at 10.30, and you're chanting the whole service from start to finish, right? Yes. <laughs> Actually, in truth, he is doing almost the entire service tomorrow morning. So we're thrilled, we're proud of him, and we're looking forward to celebrating with him and his family. We turn ahead in our prayer books now to page 46. I invite everyone to rise in body or spirit as we join together in the evening to tefillah. Adonai, sifatai tiftah, ufiyagi, tehilatecha. Adonai, sifatai tiftah, ufiyagi. Tehilatecha Adonai Sifatai tiftach Ufiyagi Tehilatecha Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, Velohe Avotenu, Vimotenu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Velohe Leah, Hael Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vikone Hako, Vizocher chaste avot v'imahot, 
Umevigula livne vnehem, Leman shemo beahava, Melecho zeru moshia umagain, Baruchat adonai, Magain Avraham, Vezrat Sara, Atagi bor le lamadonai, Mechaye ha colata rav le hoshia, Morid hatal. Mechakel chayim bechesed, Mechaye ha kobe rachamim rabim, So mech no flim verofe holim, Umatir asurim, Umekayem emunato, Lishene afar, Michamocha baal givurot, Umi do melach, melech me me to mechaye, umats me ach yeshua, venemana tal hachayot hako, parachata adonai, mechaye hako, ata kadosh, vishim ha kadosh, yukadoshim beho yom yalaluch asela, parachata adonai, we continue silently now through page 63, including both the prayers in the prayer book and the prayers of our own hearts. Please be seated at your own pace. page 62. I 
Adonai, Adonai, to who we, to who we, Vigo Ali, Adonai, to we, Vigo Ali. At this point in our service, we pause to offer prayers for healing. The Mishaberah prayer we say each Shabbat, and we do so seeking prayer and seeking health and wholeness for all of us, not just those who are ill. Throughout the pandemic, we have added our prayers in for the caregivers, for all of those who are struggling to keep all of us healthy. And so we begin tonight by praying for them, praying for all of those who are doing everything they can to help keep all of us healthier. As a congregation, we also think of Samuel Kaplan, Ruth Goldman, Alan Wolk, George Gurneth, Kathy Lowry, Baruch Benjamin Ben Yaakov Vachaya, Jerry Spargel, Shirley Spargel, Eve, Katie, John, Bob S., Michael L., Stanley W., Howard G., Cantor Michal Gray Schaefer, Alex Botkin, Jack Glasser, Judy Moyer, Daniel Stern, Jerry Ann Morgan, Susan Horn, Levia Batchayim, Stan Saverin, Holly Helbein, Michael Greenberg, Roz Eskovitz, Elaine Lesgold, Stan Cardoza, Harav Ephraim Ben Ali. And unfortunately, the pandemic has hit closer to home this week for our congregation. And so we pray for Rabbi Jamie Gibson, Harav Yaakov Ben Eliezer David Vilea. We hope that he will have a full recovery. We pray for Allison Yezer. We hope that she will have a full recovery. And we pray for my son, Zachary, and we hope that he will have a full recovery. All three seem to be doing well, for the record, um, and have mild cases, which is good. Are there any other names to mention this evening? In the chat. Lori Rizal, Joey DeLuca, Ruth Dudley Carr. Shirley Goldstein. We pray for all of them. We join together in the middle of page 253, the words of the Mishaberach prayer. Mishaberach avotenu mekor habracha yimotenu may the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen Bless those in need of healing with her fuash the the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, healer of the sick. And now some time to share good news. In a moment, we'll do birthday blessings, but who else has something good to share this Shabbat? Does it have to do with a sale coming up? <laughs> Is there anything else? Is that just a guess. Yes, I sold my house. Is that on? Tammy, is this one on? Handheld? There we go. Yes, I sold my house after being on the market for nine days. And I passed my home inspection and my dye test. And I'm having a yard sale on Sunday. 
So pray that it doesn't rain. Did they inspect the cellar? Yes, they did. And you passed your own inspection? Yes. Good. Yes. Yes, my good news is that my grandson, who has spent a lot of time here at Sinai, is about to graduate from a five-year program at Drexel University in Philadelphia. He's graduating with high honors, and he has a job. Very nice. <laughs> That's great news. Who else has something to share? S-E-L-L-E-R or C-E-L-L-A-R? Well, both. No, I understand. No, I know exactly. I, I was saying both just to see how you'd react, and you, and you failed the test, just for the record. But, <laughs> but I tried. I really tried. Do you have your hand up with something good? Yes. Um, two things. We survived the craziest commencement, the biggest commencement at CMU ever. And uh, on Thursday, my niece will be married in the Holy Land, which is, say, Brooklyn. Nice. Are you going? Yes. Go Yankees. <laughs> you going to a game? <laughs> no, that's too much. Who else has something good to share? Susan, you want to share anything from the last two weeks? You knew I was going to put you on the I spot. walked 50 miles, drove 1,726 miles, and Flew. saw an amount an amazing amount of Spain, and, and the people were absolutely fabulous. Very nice. We loved following along on your trip with you. Who else has something good to share? Nobody selling a bar mitzvah, celebrating a bar mitzvah? Lev, what's with your family? Nobody's raising their hand. I don't know, Lev, we're going to have to work on that. Do you want me to get back at them tomorrow morning? OK. Do you have your hand up? <laughs> we had a long schlep from Savannah to, <laughs> to Charlotte to San Francisco and back, wow. and every flight was on time. That's a miracle. <laughs> not, no, wait. not going to Savannah. No, not going to. I didn't say going to. Going to Savannah was a total disaster, <laughs> but all from Savannah to... <laughs> wow. That's actually a pretty good... That's yeah. Well, we started out so bad, it only could get better. So that, mean, that means you saw all of your grandkids? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and your kids? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's very nice. And they were nice to you? They're always no, they're nice. They're always though. very nice. Good. We're very lucky. Good. They're lucky, too. <laughs> Who else has something good? So we've got a bunch of birthdays to celebrate. Who, anybody have a May birthday here? Come on up to the Bema. While they're coming up, Paul Pitts shares that his grandson Josh graduated from middle school yesterday uh, in Arizona. And the Colera family wrote that Rachel recovered from COVID and everyone can be in the same room again. And Rachel's dancing about that. I don't see her parents dancing, but I do see Rachel dancing. All right, so we got birthdays. When's your birthday and how old are you? Today is my birthday and I'm 13. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, May 12th and a couple years older than 13. <laughs> 57. <laughs> uh, May 10th and 77. May 6th and 69. Happy birthday to all of you. And we have a few other birthdays to celebrate. Leon Edelsack celebrates his 67th birthday. Uh, Frank already mentioned, Elaine Miller celebrated her birthday on May 12th, Betty Lou Margolis on May 13th, Mike Kalura on May 14th, and Carol Rosen's birthday is on May 26th. And can we put Selma Rive up on the big screen? Can we highlight Selma's screen? Selma, I'm going to turn this, my screen up here around so hopefully you can see the congregation. I don't know if you can see out to the whole congregation. Selma celebrated her 95th birthday. And so... It is our treat to be able to celebrate with you. Can you unmute, Selma? <laughs> Selma, say something. She has to unmute. You have to unmute on your end. <laughs> well, we got to unmute something. That's okay. 
Can we, un do we have to unmute her, Tammy, or does she have to unmute? She has to unmute. We can only mute. Selma, see if you can unmute. There we go. Nice. Let's do it again. No. Try it again. <laughs> I wish everyone happy birthday. May you be well and safe and celebrate many, many, many more at Temple Sinai and anywhere else you want to observe it. Lots and lots of love to you all. You have no idea how I miss you. We miss you too, but here, I'll, I'll turn the camera back around so you can see everybody waving to you. Many, many happy more to you. At 95, that means you got 25 until you're 120. Thank you. Hurry in if you are. You too. <laughs> many, many happy more. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, says Shalom bin Robav. Who ya says Shalom Aleinu. Oh, says Shalom Bimomav, who ya says Shalom Aleinu. Oh, says Shalom Bimomav, who ya says Shalom Aleinu. Ya say Shalom, ya say Shalom. Shalom Aleinu, we all call Yisrael. Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, we all call Yisrael. O se Shalom bim Romav, who Yase Shalom Aleinu. O se shalom bim romav, who ya se shalom aleinu. O se shalom bim romav, who ya se shalom aleinu. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom. Shalom Aleinu, we all call Yisrael. Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, we all call Yisrael. Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, we all call Yisrael. Yase Shalom. Ya se shalom, shalom aleinu, the alcohol is right. Shabbat shalom. The events in Buffalo hit close to home for us in a couple of different ways. On the one hand, the life that we have moved into here in Pittsburgh is filled with the shadow of what happened on October 27th and the hate that fueled those events. And on the other hand, Topps Friendly Markets, where the shooting took place in Buffalo, is a chain throughout northern New York. And in fact, where we lived was between two different Topps Markets, sort of like living between two giant eagles here. And when Jake was just a toddler, Jake decided that he had a hard time figuring out which tops we meant we were going to. And so one became Mr. Tops and one became Mrs. Tops. The problem was none of us could remember which one was which. Uh, but Tops Friendly Market is a normal neighborhood grocery store like Giant Eagle. And so to walk into Tops is about as common a thing as you could ask to do. You need to run into the grocery store to pick something up. You know, routinely, one of us would call the other and say, hey, can you pick this up on the way home? And we'd go into the grocery store and that was that. So to hear that this terrible event took place there uh, touched us, touched me on a deep level. And as I've thought about it and read about it over the last number of days, I keep finding myself recognizing that we as a society are at a crossroads. On the one hand, we are confronting hate and violence in ways we never could have imagined. 
And at the same time, we are seeing love and we are seeing people connecting with each other in ways we never could have imagined. So let me try and unpack all of that a little bit tonight. First, hate in America. The connection, the connection between the two shootings is the, the thinking, I don't even want to elevate it by calling it philosophy, but the thinking of the two shooters. Both of them ascribe to a thought called replacement theory, wherein they believe that white people are being replaced by people of color, and that somehow or another there is some genocide going on of the white person. And in both cases, they decided they had to do something about it, and they opened fire, and they took innocent lives. Replacement theory used to be a fringe theory. A hundred years ago, there was a French person who thought of it. He was considered far, far, far out on the extremes. But replacement theory has become more mainstream. Some years ago, there was the big riots and rallies in Charlottesville. And you'll remember, one of the chants was, Jews will not replace us. And an awful lot of us thought to ourselves, huh? What's that even mean? And what it meant is exactly what this shooter ascribed to that they didn't want Jews to replace them. So they believe that not only are people of color replacing white people, but that Jews are the puppeteers pulling the strings and causing this. Now, I've been pretty engaged in Jewish life for a long time. Um, one might say that I'm in, I live my life in the midst of Jewish life in America. I've never <laughs> heard anything remotely close to that, and I don't know anybody who has. But this theory went from a fringe French idea to being picked up in society after society. If you go to Viktor Orban's Hungary today and listen to what they say about George Soros there and look at the billboards there, as I have, you'll see that theory is alive and well in Hungary. And the far right wing here has picked it up. Not the mainstream right, but the far right. And the problem is that the far right now dominates the conversation so that the mainstream right has no voice at all. And so what we're left with is a society where theories like replacement theory are becoming more standard by the leaders of the right. This is terrifying. This is a huge problem because when extremist theory becomes practiced by the mainstream, then all of us are in trouble and all of us face new risks that we couldn't have even imagined not that long ago. And so when we hear replacement theory, we as Jews need to stand up and speak out and say more than just this is foolishness. We have to say this is wrong and here's why. And we've got to explain it. And when we hear somebody, a congressman or a senator or a representative going down to the Texas border and saying these people coming in are meant to replace good Americans, We've got to recognize they're speaking in code. They're speaking out in favor of the same replacement theory. Those phrases pop up again and again in our national debate. In the halls of Congress, they're heard. In the halls of state houses all over this country, they're heard. And we've now witnessed as victim after victim is being buried as a result of these theories being broadcast and being shared. And so the hate that exists in America today, the business of replacement theory, the business of being critical of somebody else because of the color of their skin, this stands as a huge challenge for each of us. And while we look at the hate in America, we can't divorce it from race in America. The conversations about critical race theory contain, contain that very same racist, pro-white texture that exists in the other. When people criticize critical race theory, they're criticizing it not because they disagree with it, but because they're fearful that they as white people are gonna lose power. Now those of us who look at critical race theory and say, wait a second, this is actually true. There was redlining. There were ways that our government formally held back people of color and we need to do something better now we need to speak up even louder because the other side is resorting to violence. And there's a limit as to how many people we need to bury 
before we say enough is enough, before we speak up and say this isn't who we are, that America is better than this, that we are better than this. So critical race theory, you're going to hear an awful lot about in the coming election. You're going to hear about it locally here. I'm convinced you're going to hear about it on TV commercial after TV commercial. If the election that happened this last Tuesday is any indication, there will be no shortage of TV commercials in the coming months. Uh, only the media and the media ad buyers love these kinds of times of year. But the responsibility, the onus is on each of us. We've got to speak out. We've got to talk about this with our friends and neighbors. We've got to talk about it in the line at the giant eagle. We've got to reach out to those who are different from us. And rather than being fearful or critical, we need to acknowledge the facts, the history, the truth. And we need to do so openly. Now weigh that against what is the hope and the dream of America. Right? In other countries, when there have been these nasty, terrible events that have occurred, they've been forgotten. In America, a whole nation has rallied around. You watch the Buffalo Bills football team doing pretty close to what the Steelers did here after the shooting. You watch as national leader after national leader has found their way to Buffalo or found their way to speak out about it. This is what's good about America. This is what gives me hope. This is what says to me, this battle isn't lost. There is a way forward here and it begins with hope. It begins with a belief in ourselves it begins in a belief in people different than us. Our temple has been involved in all sorts of organizations. Tomorrow night, I'm going to a dinner honoring the EECM, the East End Cooperative Ministry. The temple has been a part of that organization from its beginning. We're one of the founding members. And in fact, tomorrow at their annual gala, they're honoring the temple as one of its founding members. That we are part of our community, that we join together to feed the hungry. This is what's right with society. And this is how we respond to these acts of hate. Not by running and hiding, but by finding new ways to engage, new ways to reach out. The garden is just getting prepared for this coming year. And if you go that way, actually, and look out, you'll see that the raised beds have been repaired and the ground is being tilled. Rachel Kudrick has been hard at work getting things together. But we're also about to, to add to that garden and extend it in the back of the temple, actually, behind me here where there used to be bushes and it was overgrown, that's gonna become part of the vegetable garden as well. So in the midst of all of this hate, we're saying just the opposite. As a congregation, we are saying, we're gonna expand. We're gonna do more for people in need. We're gonna help more people. We had a session earlier this week about welcoming Afghan refugees and we're doing everything we can to help there. We've already put calls out to see what we can do to help Ukrainian refugees should they arrive in our city. We're gonna help there. This is what a congregation like Sinai can do. We can stand up and say in every act, in everything we do, we believe in a better world. We believe in the other. We believe that somebody who is different from us adds blessings to us, gives us something richer. Our community needs us to do that at Sinai. Our community needs us the Pittsburgh community, the Squirrel Hill community, they need us at Sinai to stand up and do that, to expand our gardens, to reach out more and more and more. And so I encourage you, I invite you, I maybe even beg you to find a way to dig deeper and to give it in a new way. I'm not asking to give money necessarily, although that's always a good thing. But think of ways that we can reach out to the other, to the person who's different. Think of ways that we can connect with them when we do that, we build a society that's based on our view, that all of us are the children of the same God, that all of us share holiness, that all of us are worthy of praise, that all of us are reflections of the divine in that which we share and in that which differentiates us. When we do that, when we create that world that reflects those core values, then our children and our grandchildren see that Lam Rotakol, in spite of it all, we did everything we could to make society more whole. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We have a number of announcements this evening. Let me share them. Uh, first, thank you to our greeters this evening, Elliot Oshry and Risa Rosenthal. I hope everybody was warmly greeted. Uh, 
Our musical program is made possible with the generous support of an anonymous donor. We have a number of classes and things. Tonight, the ONEG is sponsored by um, Lev Sehud's family, celebrating his bar mitzvah by his parents, Andrew and Hannah, and also by um, Roz Richmond in honor of Selma's birthday. So Selma, we can send you a cookie or two. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure it's gonna taste so good after traveling from here to New Mexico, but I'm happy to try. Uh, tomorrow morning, Torah study is at 8.30, and the minion begins at 9.15, and then at 10.30, we'll gather here in the sanctuary for Lev's Bar Mitzvah. On Tuesday, the Brotherhood is meeting for lunch and discussion at 11.30 um, at the Galley in uh, Bakery Square. Parshat Shavuot class is Wednesday at noon. Evening meditation with Rhonda Rosen, Wednesday evening at 6, online. Our annual meeting, our temple annual meeting, will be Thursday at 7 o'clock, both on-site and online. And in a couple of weeks, on June 3rd, we will be honoring and celebrating Rabbi Karen Gorbin, who is leaving after seven years to uh, become the rabbi of Temple Beth El in Tacoma, Washington. There are ways that you can honor her and share memories with her. Uh, if you go to our website or check the weekly e-bulletin, you'll see that there are ways to submit memories and photos and well wishes for her. And on June 3rd, we will celebrate her and thank her. Uh, as you heard, the, the COVID committee uh, the reopening committee has met and changed the policy once again, so we're back in masks. Um, someday, someday, the reopening committee will be no more. Someday, the reopening committee will turn itself into the permanently open committee. <laughs> and we won't have to worry about the masks. Uh, having now had one child sick with COVID this week, I can tell you, A, it's no fun, but B, thank God for the vaccines. Because of the vaccinations and the boosters, Zach has had relatively mild cold symptoms all week. And while he's bored out of his skull in his room on the third floor, he's generally okay. And that might not have been possible two and a half years ago. So we are grateful beyond words to science for what they have done. Um, and we pray that everyone who is dealing with this problem will soon heal and return back to full life. Uh, for Zach, that means back to Alder Dyson and exams. And exams and probably not doing all of his homework on time and all sorts of fun things. Back to normal. Lucky me. Exactly. Uh, for now, we return back to the normalcy of our service. We turn to page 282. Actually, just before we turn to 282, um, we stop for the, the counting of the Omer, which is on page 278. Join with me. Hineni mucha nu mezuman lekayem mitzvat ase shel sfirat haomer. I am ready to fulfill the mitzvah of counting the omer. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al sfirat haomer. Hayom shloshim v'chamesh yamim shehem chamesh shavuot laomer. Today is the 35th day of the omer, which is five weeks of the omer. We have two weeks left until we reach Shavuot and confirmation. Now we turn to page 282. I invite everyone to rise in body or spirit as we join together in Aleinu L'Shabeach. Aleinu L'Shabeach l'adon hakol l'atekinu l'aleotzer b'reshit shelo asanu k'gaye haratzot Velo samanu k'mishmachon adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem V'gohor aleinu k'echo hamonam V'anachnu korim U'mishtachavim u'modim Lifne melech malche hamachim Hakadosh baruch hu V'nemar v'haya adonai Remelech al kol haaretz Vayom ha'hu, vayom ha'hu Yeh Adonai echad Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo echad Please be seated. We pause now to think of those who came before us those who gave us life, those with whom we shared life, those who joined together to create this congregation and sacred community. As you hear the name of your loved one mentioned, I invite you to rise. Carol Aldersheimer, Harry Aldersheimer, Sydney Blitz, Bonnie Sue Giffen Castiglione, 
David Kogan, Stanley Cohen, Robert Dickens, Masha Dubin, William Ehrlich, Barnett Fain, Saul Gershuni, Wolf Gladowski, Herb Gluckman, Yetta Gussin, Julius Herr, Jenny Jacobson, Annette Kaplan, Hyman Klein, Sylvia Lasky Frank, Minnie Weiner Latterman, Leona Lobel, Lottie Marcus, Alan Miller, Hannah B. Mullins, Ivan Morris, Rose Pinsker, Harry Podolsky, Helen Florence Frace Polemus, Rachel Porter, Rose Goldberg Rice, Nat Reisberg, Sadie Schwartz, Adolf Schwartz, Elizabeth Stoffman, Jody Weiss, Sloan Wilson, Abe Zager, Marilyn Aronson, Hannah Rachel Roth Winkle, and we add to those names the names of those taken from us only in recent weeks, Carol Blonder, Charles Edward Hollerman, Estelle Carlton, Fern Meadowcroft. And we add to those names Jim Furlio. We invite everyone to rise as one congregation as we join together in the words of Mourner's Kaddish, page 294. Yit Gadal, Yit Kadash, Yisrael. Amen. <laughs> V'chayim alinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. O seh shalom b'mramav. Huya seh shalom. Alinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May God grant comfort to the bereaved among us, and together we say, Amen. We conclude this evening with singing Gesher Tsar Me'od, which can be found on page 339. As we're singing that, we invite Lev and his family to come up to lead us in Kiddush and Motzi. The Oneg will take place outside uh, by the memorial plaques tonight. Kohalam Kulo Geshet Sarmo Geshet Sarmo Geshet Sarmo Kohalam Kulo Geshet Samur, Geshet Samur, the <laughs> Geshet Lo 
Start with a kiddush, with the wine. So don't so drink done. it. <laughs> and we join together with you for the mozi. Okay. Hold the mic up close to Lev's mouth. Okay. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, try some. Shabbat Shalom, Mazel Tov to all of you. And our thanks to Saul for leading us in music this evening. <laughs> 